notion of being the equivalent of a Martian flying saucer. As you can see, this is a distinct oval. In fact, it's a convex oval with the sun coming from this direction, the shadowed side here, a fluted rim hanging several hundred feet over this very steep vertical cliff a mile above the valley floor. If you look at the image on the right, you can actually see that in addition to it being oval, it has a pointed front. And on the front, there are windows. In the back, with very interesting symmetry configuration, there appear to be the engines. In June of 2000, we discovered potentially our most extraordinary artifact, this mile-long, several hundred foot wide structure with translucent exterior, a brilliant sun glint, and evenly spaced ribs that looks for all the world like an artificially constructed glass tunnel, which some have termed, like Arthur Clarke, a glass worm on the surface of a planet where it has, again, no business being. We have over a mile long, curvilinear, convex structure with these extraordinary ribs that appear to be some kind of structural support. And right in the middle, there's a brilliant sun glint and a darker shadow, indicating in the model that this is a constructed object, that maybe it's a transportation tube. And this little thing, which actually is several hundred feet wide on the scale of the photograph, is perhaps a car trapped in the middle of the tube when whatever disaster hit Mars and broke the tube at this point hit the planet. It's sometimes hard to gauge what's going on on Mars from a two-dimensional photograph, so what we did was go to one of our Enterprise mission colleagues, Chris Joseph, and ask him to submit this image to a shape from shading algorithm. What that allows us to do is to recreate a three-dimensional construction of the two-dimensional form. And what we clearly see is an undulating glass-like tunnel with a sharp break at the position of the car, continuing on down the valley, as one would expect of a greatly eroded ancient artificial structure on the planet Mars. Because this is such a controversial discovery, what we did was what you do in any science, go to another opinion. So we got Kinthea and Fred Torres to generate a moving animated diagram of the same structure using the same shape from shading algorithm. And what you see here is a pan around this little valley and then the tube. And if you look carefully over here, you can see that there's a definite 3D structure to this object with regular spaced ribbing high above the valley floor. Whatever these are, they are not sand dunes. They appear to be structural components of a tube. And as we continue to pan down this valley, which is created by some unknown geological process long after this tube was ever built, you can see that these ribs are on the edges of the valley, not along the floor, something again that sand dunes just don't do. So what we seem to be seeing is the most extraordinary Mars surveyor find, namely a huge work of megalithic engineering lying on an ancient Martian plain. The great mystery at this point seems to be if the Enterprise mission and its colleagues can find all this and so much more, then why can't NASA? Or is there something more?